In this video, we're going to look at slideshows and what options we have available to us. So first of all, we need to get back from pages to um, build. So click on build. And then we need to find slideshow, the box for slideshows, which is just there to the left. Grab that and drag it into the page. So it's going to be a full width to start with. We can make it smaller if we want to. And you can see you get various options with with without thumbnails and just sliding or with thumbnails and you can choose where the thumbnails go. So we'll now continue once we've chosen and then we need to upload photos for the slideshow. So again, we're just going to upload a few images. You can reorder these images by dragging them around so you can see the way they present, the order in which they present. Uh, and then again, we've got um, the option to put captions in again. Um, so you can put captions in, you can put a link onto each image, a hyperlink onto each image. And then the alt text again. So make sure you put alt text onto your images in the slideshow as well. So this is a descriptive text that we were talking about. So I'm just looking at how we can do a link there. I'll talk you through links uh, at another time. OK, so here's your slideshow. So it's running automatically at the moment. That's how we've chosen it to be. So just play automatically every few seconds. And that's the uh, caption I put in on that image and no caption on the other image. So you can choose what you want to do. You can pause while you're, while you're having a play with it. So you can have different ways of transitioning from image to image, mosaic, slice, fold, fade, slide. So you can have different options. You can also have options on whether you want to have the navigation arrows showing or not. And of course you can change the size of the slideshow so that it could be smaller. Uh, the speed of the slideshow you can change too. There's the navigation bar, so location and whether or not you have them or not. And then um, again, aspect ratio. So what sort of ratio do you want for your images? So I would suggest a good size would be 16.9 and then make sure that you import 169 images and then you can have that would look pretty good in your um, in your page so I'm now dragging a spacer to one side of the slideshow and you can see that's put two columns in the page now reduce the size of the slideshow and your images it looks a little bit more manageable now than some huge slideshow in the middle of the page. And then I might decide I want to put an image in that other column. I'm going to delete the spacer because I don't need it anymore because the image is there holding that space. And I'm going to select an image from for that image box. So now we've got an image next to a slideshow. Probably not something you would actually do, but just to illustrate how it works. You can then change the size or the, the size of the image or the size of the slideshow. And of course, we can independently change the image size by using that little blue line as well. It'll only go as big as the area that is allocated to the box. So make the box a little bit bigger, make the column a bit bigger, then you can drag out the image and make it bigger again. Okay. You can pause like so. And that's slideshows.